Hey everyone and welcome back to the Nuzlocke Challenge. I'm Dan. I'm gonna play some more Pokemon. I hope you guys are ready. I'm glad to be back. Let's do this. Alright, so it has been well over a month since I last played or recorded or did anything. Um, if you if you know or if you've kept up with social media at all, you probably have heard that I got to move recently. Um, I moved out of Orlando and I now live in Austin, Texas, uh, which is very exciting. I have a new job and this whole new life that I'm kind of adapting to. Uh, so that's been the reason I haven't gotten to record in so long. Um, but thank you guys for putting up with me. Uh, you, you might not have put up with me my my lack of episodes but i'm sorry <laughs> uh i i have not played pokemon in a while uh it it was before magfest which was what the uh i don't even remember when it was it was like the 18th or something of february that i hadn't i recorded episodes before then because i wanted to talk about magfest let's talk about magfest first uh, if, if you didn't go to MacFest this year, it was a blast. Um, I got to hang out with Dan and James, which lovely as always. Um, I got to see they had like a Journey concert that was uh, like someone played through Journey and then they had a live orchestra for it. That was really cool. Uh, it was a good experience. I also got to see uh, Ninja Sex Party and Tupperware Remix uh, Party play... Uh, a concert which was phenomenal as well um and then i got to hang out with a lot of cool friends and i i did a magic draft i'm just gonna go on the list here of things i've done in the past month so <laughs> just skip ahead to like next episode <laughs> if you don't want to hear me rainbow hopefully no one will die because i'm not really paying attention to what i'm doing right now um, I'm just kind of staring at the ceiling talking. I got a new apartment because I moved. I guess that should be obvious. Um, I like the uh, the orange background here. I just got to say that real quick. Um, yeah, it's weird. I've never lived by myself. Uh, this is a first for me. I, I like to be around people, so I never imagine. Oh, no. Oh, she has more Pokemon. Let's switch a Pokemon then. Um, I like to be around people, so it's kind of a weird change for me. Um, not having a roommate. Um, and and I don't really know anyone in town. Uh, there's there's a few internet folk I know, but most of them I haven't ever met in person. So there's that weird. Hey, I don't really know these people enough to like openly invite myself i guess i should i don't I, I don't know what i'm talking about i'm just kind of rambling i haven't gotten to do i haven't gotten to record or play video games in a while so this is uh this is dan D dan vents 2016 it's not really venting because i mean I'm, I'm in a great mood i'm in so much better of a mood than i've been in the past few years lately just because of all these changes and I'm out of Florida and everything. Uh, I obviously miss all my buddies back in Florida, but I think it was the right call for me to get out of there. I hope everyone has been doing great. Uh, I've really been appreciating you guys have been sending me like fan art and sending me messages on Twitter. And I even read through all the messages on uh, YouTube, not Facebook. <laughs> I don't check Facebook. Um, no, I, I love all the messages you guys send me. It like, brightens my day every time an episode goes up. I get to read. What'd you guys write? Even that one guy who said, Dan wants to f*** <laughs> <a bee." laughs> can I say Can I say the F word on, on this? I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'll censor it. Just cuz. Cuz I'm Dan Jones. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> uh. So yeah, so that was MAGFest. It was a wonderful time. Um, I mainly was I was just excited to hang out with friends. Uh, that's that's ninety nine percent of the reason why I go because I like I like friends. 
Um, then I moved. Like, uh, oh, I, I found out I, I got the job at MAGFest, so did a little sell. Oh, we have new grass. Hang on, story. We have new grass. New grass, guys. Wait, I think someone's like, Steve's okay. Okay, I thought he was asleep. Um, let's see what we get. It's a Geo, dude. We don't get this. Um. So yeah, I moved. Uh. I uh I rented a U-Haul and did all that. Drove out myself. That was a fun. It was supposed to be sixteen hours, but it was also the weekend South by Southwest started, and Obama was coming into town. So I hit a lot of bad traffic once I hit Texas. Um. So it was kind of around 20 hours, I think, drive. 20 hours with everything you own in, in the back of your truck is a very stressful drive. Hey, we get this skunk thing. Stunky. I can see what type it finally is, because I still don't really know. Let's... He's going to be named something great if I catch him. She, excuse me. Man, I it's so weird. I I don't think any time I've ever played Pokemon, I Pokemon, Pokemon. <laughs> Dude, there should be a a Pokemon game, but it's all about like folklore creatures and stuff. Dude, I'd play that. Go catch Chupacabra and Bigfoot and like vampires and werewolves and sh all that. Dude, sign me up. What was I talking about? Um there's a skunk, there's female. Oh yeah, I have a lot of female Pokemon on my team. I find that surprising. Have I hit him yet? <laughs> Besides the one time I hit him, clearly. I'm a little hopped up on caffeine right now. Uh if you if you can't tell. Um maybe you can tell. <laughs> uh so I had I I'm about to wrap up my second week at work. It's a very new experience for me. Um, for those of you who don't know, I I freelance or I I've, I've been freelancing for about past six years, eh, five years, um, and most of that has been doing it full time. So and now I have a studio job and I I go to a studio and I'm around other artists and it's amazing, but it's it's definitely been. Uh, a big shift. I'm not a morning person either, so there's always that. I don't really want to kill this guy because I, I want him. Okay, I think we can throw it. Um, but all the all my coworkers are fantastic. Um, everyone's been so welcoming, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Uh, so. I think it's all like best case scenario stuff that's been happening for me. And maybe that's why I'm in such a good mood lately. But who knows? I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to do now on the like even even on the show. Well, once I finish this Nuzlocke, um, I figure I should probably get this out of the way. <laughs> maybe not out of the way. I, I hear you guys are enjoying it. So, you know, uh, give a nickname. Yeah, we're giving a nickname to Stunky It's going to be. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm a child. All right, let's go heal, cause man, my guys are all out of shape. That was that, that's that's most of what's been happening in my life. Sorry, that was kind of like a a a, a vomit of. Dan personal info no one probably wanted to hear but you guys have become my source to chat um so deal with it <laughs> okay now I'm back in Pokemon mode though we're we're gonna get back to it let's let's uh let's I don't even know who's on my team right now What, what do you have? I think he has the poison dart thing. Um, you guys were telling me to give Bert a specific item. 
It was like a... Shell bell? Oh, I don't remember what it was. Uh, I thought it was an egg. I thought it was like something egg. It could be the shell bell, though. I'll give it to him anyways. In case that was it. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, Steve, you can... Eh, no. <laughs> Ooh, Steve really should level up, though. He's 21. I'm also... I kind of want to put that uh, Stunky on my team. I really like poison types. I don't like how Stunky looks. Like, some Someone asked me in the earlier episodes, what's my least favorite Pokemon? That's probably one of the ugliest looking Pokemon that I uh, don't like. <laughs> Ruin Maniac Cave. Oh my gosh, it's just this one room. Everyone calls me the Ruin Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep chipping away at the rock wall little by little. You know why? I'm the Ruin Maniac who's fascinated by unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but how about you and me have a race? You go catch the unknown and I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see who can get done faster. Okay. <laughs> All right, bud. Just back away slowly. Yep. Let me just take this real quick. Found dig. Do you uh you enjoy enjoy doing that? All right. <laughs> He's insane. Don't look at him in the eyes. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a little hat on. There's also a bunch of grass over here. I feel like I should take part. Is that a is that a bug that I'm? Am I not in grass right now? Hang on, I want to I want to test my theory here. Just a theory, a game theory. <laughs> Shout out to game theory. Hey, it's poop. <laughs> Let the records show that I'm a grown adult. It's not very effective. Well, how about this? Ah! Oh! So, Pokken came out recently. And hot dang, does that look fun. And also, that is like the... Child Dan would be losing his mind at that. Because that's how you see a Pokemon battle when you're like... This is what I want to see when my Pokemon are fighting. You know, not just like a little... Oh, he tackled me. Ooh. Like... I want to see them jumping and doing flips in the air and shooting lasers and... Man, it looks so cool. It's so awesome to see Pokemon, like, in battle. Oh, I guess it's, like, night-night time. Night-night. Night. Bright. Light. Bright. I don't remember how the song goes, sorry. <laughs> That's all you're getting of that song. So for a week, I had no internet, and... I I only have old game consoles, so I went through and played. Um, I finally started playing Super Metroid. I've owned Super Metroid for a few years now, and I've never gotten around to playing it. And it's one of those games where you're like, yeah, I, I know, I've totally played it. And you don't really want to say because it's like such a gaming uh, like staple everyone should know it and all that stuff and i never had played it so finally playing it um and it's great having a good time with that um i haven't been doing too much gaming lately uh stardew valley on steam is pretty fun i'm only at like day five i think so not even probably like 20 minutes maybe an hour of game play uh, but, man, if you like Harvest Moon, get that. It's a good time. Um, I still play Dark Souls every now and then. Uh, it's just my kind of go-to relaxing game, which I know that sounds backwards, but there's something just so fun about it. As you can see on Dan's videos right here, just click that link. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you're not watching side quests, what are you doing? 
What are you doing? <laughs> You're watching me play Pokemon. I know that. I want I want you to know I appreciate that. <laughs> but really, what are you doing? Someone sent me a thing on Twitter where it was like, oh, it's it's extra play, a show about Dan's who don't pay attention. <laughs> I was like, I'll have you know James plays Hearthstone and Destiny and Dan has guests. <laughs> I'll have you know that. Good sir. I said good day. I said good day. I don't know what I did the voice for. Max Potion. Yo, I hope he doesn't mind me taking his potion. Max. I slathered that with honey. I like to just imagine I've got like a like a the the bear shaped honey bottle. I'm just like like squeezing it out on a tree. <laughs> what am I like? Like it says slather on, so I gotta just be like rubbing my hand on with honey on a tree. Is that just is that what people do? Is that a thing? Is there's this like honey tree culture I don't know about? Share the video with your friends. <laughs> if they uh, if they rub honey on trees, I I mean I guess it would get bugs and stuff to show up because it's honey. But have you ever gotten honey like on your finger or something? It's uh, kind of like you have to wash your hands after honey. There's no like like oh this is, it'll dry. There's none of that. Like some, you know, like you could argue with like ketchup. You can kind of like, eh, I'll just wipe it and it'll be fine. And honey, no, not happening with honey. That's what a collector does. I'm going to have a Pokemon battle with you. Oh, my name is Douglas. <laughs> I went from Godfather to like he's constipated. That's what <laughs> I'm going to send out my Rosalia. I'm apparently a smoker now, too. <laughs> All right, Rosalia. Roz. Elia. Or Rosalia. Rosalia. Ro is it Rosalia or Ros Roselia? Rosalia? I think it's Rosalia. Yeah. Um, Some of you guys were telling me I pronounced some things wrong. And, uh... I'll admit that. <laughs> I'm not going to defend myself at all. But I'm not going to pronounce it correctly. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> it's the same thing like... Here, here's, here's Pokemon. Steve wants to learn Hyper Fang? Hang on. Hang on. Things are happening in this Pokemon game. Let's forget a move. Let's forget a uh, headbutt. Um... I, okay, so I get into this talk about Zelda a lot. There's words that you've you've pronounced them in your head a certain way. It, you honestly, you might have even just misread the word itself. Um, but then it's like, oh, some you're pronouncing it wrong. Like if it's an actual word and not like a, a made up thing, <laughs> like like a fantasy word or a name of a Pokemon, I'll be like, oh, okay, like I'm clearly in the wrong here. But this is like, there's a word. It doesn't exist. That's. I'm just pronouncing it as best as I phonetically can. Um, I'm not admitting there's not a correct way to say it. I'm just saying. I'm going to keep pronouncing it how I want. <laughs> uh, a lot of people say Gerudo. I say Gerudo uh, for Zelda. Always will, always have. I don't know. I just I saw G E R like Germ and Gerudo. That's how I always see him. Uh, also Deku instead of Deku or Deku. I said Deku. Yeah, I said Deku. Like with two E's. Yeah, that's me. What, what's another one? Ah. Uh. 
I remember as a kid, I couldn't figure out how to say Kakariga Village. I wish I could think of a Pokemon example right now, but I can't. Also, they all say their name in the anime, so it's hard to not, like, get force-fed. <laughs> I'm like really afraid my team is dying and I'm not aware of it. Is there like a why is this bush? Why is this bush? Someone did a really bad job with this fence. And I'm not saying the programmer because maybe they were like the artist or whoever set up the scene here. But I'm talking about the carpenter in the world of Pokemon is lazy. And should be fired if he hasn't already been fired. Valor Lake for hang on, we did we just change? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, guys, guys, wait. Jeez, give me a minute. Wait. Gosh. Okay, so impatient. <laughs> I hope there is one guy out there, like he's getting real mad at me right now. Okay, so that is a different lake. For some reason I thought we got back over here. Verity and Valor. What's this one? Uh Truth. Acuity. I don't know why I said truth. <laughs> Valor. Alright, so we can catch a little guy here. We can catch our little friend. A little buddy. A little pal. A little amigo. It's a geodude. What do, you, what do you think Pokemon do inside Pokeballs? Do you think they're conscious? Oh, see, okay. So in this situation, we have a geodude, so we can't catch this Graveler. And that means we miss out on this zone. That's a big X on this zone. Take the zone down, big X. That's this zone. Nope. Big old nope. <laughs> That's me just making myself more work. Let's run away. That was dangerous. Because Gravelers have self-destruct. And that's that's when Pokemon Nuzlocke gets unfair. Oh, look at those guys. We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Reason? I'm not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. <laughs> What a weird guy. To protect the lake. It's nice to know there are still people worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus. These guys are weird. I don't like their voice. They're weird. <laughs> I know I gave them the voice, but it was a weird voice. You can't you can't just make up voices. Why is that Poco Oh, there's a little climbing thing over there. I gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere. Hotel people won't be happy with me. Sure, I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. Ten bucks, that's it. <laughs> Someone in the comments, bet me ten bucks. Because that's it. I'm, I'm calling it. Oh. Stop. Yes, you. Central City, which is down this road, has a major blackout. Crews are working, and the plot tells you you can't go here right now, so the road's closed. Keep moving. But backwards the way you came, because I didn't actually read what he said. I was too busy making a joke about plot. <laughs> Let's check this right here. Okay, really good. Nice invisible items that weren't there. Hey, Barry. <laughs> There's a space center? Are we going into space? Is there a Pokemon in space? I guess uh, Clefairies are from space, right? Hey, these appetizers should look delicious. Some bring a mist spray. I'm up for your challenge. Okay, so see, this guy's got manners. He's asking if he wants a challenge or not. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate it. I'm going to battle him just because I appreciate him. Hey, I appreciate you. I didn't say I would fight your reporter, so kind of rude to invite your friend. Whatever. There's a bit. Alright. You ready for this? Alright. 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 He's dark type. Get rid of the Lucio. Pursuit! Uh oh. No! No! Oh my god! Birds! No! Are you kidding me? 
Oh, a critical hit on pursuit. And I flinched. Oh, no. Oh, Bert. A little Bert. A little boy. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Dang it. That really sucked. I. Wow. Wow. Man, he tore him apart. Oh, my gosh. That was brutal. I can't believe that. We just lost Bert. I was even going to say, hey, feeling pretty good. We only lost two Pokemon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, my stomach hurts. Maybe it was that sandwich I just had, but maybe it was the fact my friend just died. Nightshade, get that out of here. No, it was Night Slash. That. <laughs> uh, if you have ever watched the show Continue, um, you should go watch go go watch Continue. It's a YouTube show. They play a video game. Um. Watch the Nightshade episode, and you'll understand why Ned's funny to me. I'm all about plugs, man. I want... I have a platform here. and Share the wealth. There, it's, that's the thing. Like, when I, when I enjoy something... Okay, this is totally, like, non-whatever. Uh, when I enjoy something, I want to share it. And not for the sake of like, let me hit that share button. Because, I don't know. It's it's content I enjoy, so I'd like to help promote it. Because one, I want it to keep being a thing to support the show. And two, like, I know people that have my similar tastes. Like, most of my friends, I would want to share something I enjoy with them so they can enjoy it. So, so don't be afraid to share stuff you like. Because I know a lot of people who do that. So don't do that, kids. <laughs> Maybe some stuff keep private, you know. <laughs> totally just went 180 there, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm looking at you. The one with one elbow on the table, resting your head in your hand and the other hands on the mouse. Yeah, I'm talking to you. That's right. <laughs> now you're looking up like, he's not talking to me, is he? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Photographing food isn't easy. It's actually very technical. All right, thank you. Um, well, we just lost Bert. So not only... Do we have to figure out who's going to replace him on our team? But we have to uh, say goodbye to him. It's been a while since we lost someone, and that sucks. He was a big guy. He was one of my big... He was my top five. <laughs> who, who on my team is below him? Take your guesses now. Is it Steve? It was Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, where's this Pokemon Center? Whoa! Whoa, Goldeen, take it easy, okay? There'll be plenty of cake for everyone. <laughs> Look at Goldeen, tell me he doesn't want cake. What about that face? That face screams, give me that pound cake. I think I think the coffee's wearing down. So that means next episode will be much uh more relaxed. But first we gotta do we gotta do the dirty deed. And I don't mean that one. I mean we have to get rid of Bert. I know it's cold. I know it's cold, guys, but I'm taking back my item. I got a lot of crap for taking that berry away from Fluffers. But what if we need that berry? What if we need it? Hmm? Do you think Fluffers would would want me to leave it with his body? Her? 
Was it a her or he? Oh no. Uh, let's take it. <laughs> oh, Bert. I'm really gonna miss you. You were such a cutie. And one of the favorite Pokemon I've ever had in a Nuzlocke. See you guys next week.